Hey guys, Chris Sider here, founder of Ex-Boyfriend Recovery, and today we're going to be talking about the Holy Trinity. But before we get to that, first I'd like to offer you an opportunity to take our Ex-Recovery Chances quiz. It's a simple little two-minute quiz free on our website that's going to tell you what kind of chance you have of getting your ex back. So in order to take that quiz, all you have to do is simply click the link in the description of this YouTube video or stop by our website at www.exboyfriendrecovery.com to take our quiz. Okay, let's get to it. So what is the Holy Trinity? Is it something biblical, religious? No, the Holy Trinity is a technique that I want you to use during the no contact rule. Now the no contact rule obviously is a period of time where you're ignoring your ex. And one of the big issues I noticed that women and men typically have during the no contact rule is that they waste that time. They don't do anything to cultivate their own personal life. And that's where the Holy Trinity comes into play. What if I told you that there's a symbiotic relationship between health, wealth, and relationships? In other words, if the relationship aspect of your life kind of goes downhill, the other aspects, health and wealth, kind of follow. Sound familiar? Let's say that you're going through a breakup, and it's a very, very painful breakup that's causing you to cry a lot. And as a result, you are late to work the next day. And your boss doesn't like that, so he fires you. This obviously makes you very stressed out, and you're a kind of a stress eater. So what happened here? Well, since your relationships aspect of your life was negatively impacted, the health and wealth aspect of your life followed downhill as well. So if you're going to use your time wisely during the no contact rule, it's to find a way to balance your holy trinity, your health, wealth, and relationships. So instead of becoming so obsessed with what your ex is doing, why not become obsessed with what you're doing? Why not do things to improve the health aspect of your life? Why not do things to improve the wealth aspect of your life? Why not do things to improve the relationships aspect of your life? You'll notice that just by focusing on one of these aspects, the other can move up or move down. 